My name is Massimo Magni and I'm professor of organizational behavior at Bocconi University. Imagine that you are leading a project that is falling apart. You have two options. One option is to continue to invest into this project or the other option is to drop this project. Actually, most of people continue to invest into projects, into activities, even if these projects are falling apart and they continue to invest time, resources, money in what they are doing, even if the rational choice would be stop it. Why they are doing this? They are doing this for three main reasons. The first reason is a cognitive reason called sunk cost effect. When you have sunk cost effect, you consider the investments you already have done and that are unrecoverable for taking the decision to continue or not to continue the project you are leading. Take, for example, the Everest expedition of 96. The climbers were almost at the top of Everest and they decided to continue the expedition and to reach the top, even if there were unfavorable conditions. So in their decision to continue to climb, they took into account the effort and the resources they already invested to arrive, to arrive at the base camp. But the rational choice in that condition would have been to stay at the camp and not consider the already invested resources in the decision to arrive to the top. The second reason is related to the affective part of escalation of commitment. The affective part is when we are so emotionally attached to our project that we are not able to distinguish our identity and the project identity. It means that if the project fails, we feel ourselves as a failure. This happened a few years ago for an FBI project. FBI project that wanted to put to the fingerprints of FBI agents all the cases that were kept on the paper. They were so attached, so identified to that project that they didn't realize that the project was falling apart and they were not able to commit to the initial goals of the project. And for realizing it, it took four years and investing something like 170 millions of dollars. The third reason is related to social pressure. You have social pressure in the escalation of commitment when your decision to continue or to stop a project is related to the influence you have by others. Let's make an example. It was 1986 and there was the Cold War and it was the race for space. In that period, NASA decided to launch the Space Shuttle Challenger even if there were strong evidences that a disaster could have occurred because there were not the condition for launching. And actually what happened is that the disaster occurred for real. How we can avoid escalation of commitment? We can uh, work on the feedback culture of our firm. For example, with fast prototyping. What does it mean? That everything that we do, we test immediately in order to have the possibility and the chance to have corrective action quite soon. The second aspect could be related to the appointing what, called, what is called devil's advocate. So a person that by role challenges every single decision of the group and challenges the fact that the project should continue or not. The third point could be related to divide the, the team in some teams, having two different perspectives, so having two different scenarios and having the chance to provide different points of view. And the final point could be related to split the group who decides at the beginning from the group who decides if the project should continue or should stop. So at the end, we don't have to let our ego to prevail on the rational decisions we have to take in our business life and in our personal life. Thank you very much.